I've been asked to talk to you about one of my favorite bits of kit, and that's Icebreaker. They make a really broad range of layers that you can wear next to your skin, and increasingly are diversifying beyond that. But Icebreaker's been one of my absolute go-tos for such a broad range of activities. So the one I'm wearing at the moment, super thin. This is with a tensile uh, woven into it, so works really well in hot conditions. I've worn this in the Sahara and it's been 51 degrees, still been super comfortable. But at the same time, I'm quite relaxed wearing Icebreaker when it's minus 20 and been out in the Arctic. I'd take my uh, Icebreaker tops, whether I was going mountain biking, trekking, ice climbing, snowboarding, genuinely it will cover you for as many different activities as you can possibly think of. Cool thing with Merino is you can layer it up. So if you're struggling to decide which mid layers, which base layers am I gonna take, taking a variety of icebreakers gives you massive adaptability. For cold conditions, I love to have something with a higher neck and a zip neck. That way I can adapt a little bit more to the, getting a little bit cooler and breezier. But at the same time, when I'm somewhere really hot and sticky, I'll still be in a merino. It'll just be something much thinner like this. I can wear it for days and days and days and it won't hold an odor. So if I'm trying to pack light, it's really effective tool in my arsenal. Or even just on a snowboarding trip where a normal base layer of stunk out of the apartment, Icebreaker is much more sociably acceptable. It's not the cheapest kit out there, but the joys of being able to have a sustainable and natural fabric is a massive advantage. The only time I might not be my first choice is if I know I'm gonna be absolutely pushing it, pouring with sweat. Some of the synthetics will still dry that a little bit faster, but for something to wear all day or day after day, Icebreaker is definitely my top tip. For those of you worried about wearing a natural fiber, particularly when you see the word wool, there's no special care needed. I can throw it in the washing machine with confidence. Occasionally you might see on some of the thicker pieces a little bit of bobbling of that fiber. Throw it in with some towels or some denim. That helps keep those fibers sat flat, nice and smooth, keeping it as it was when it was new. If you look on the website, you'll see a really broad range of products, right down from the really thin tees, great for those hot sunny days, all the way through to their thick base layers that will keep you warm in the coldest of days in the mountains.